hey guys welcome back to my channel so I have been going back and forth with myself on whether or not I wanted to pick up the Natasha Denona bronze palette I actually did this makeup look inspired by the colors in the palette like many of you I have told myself I don't need another bronzy palette but the more I saw it, the more I wanted it. I even went to Sephora hoping it would be in the store so I could swatch it. Even though now you can't swatch stuff in the store. It's a, that's a whole nother thing. But I wanted to see it and it wasn't there. I know I don't need to buy a $65 palette right now, but man, I want it. So I pulled out about 15 of my palettes in the hopes that I could find dupes for the swatches I saw online of this palette after <laughs> at least three to four hours of swatching. I was reminded why people like us go and buy palettes. We do not have time to dig through all of our eyeshadows trying to find a potential dupe for a palette that's already curated. Ain't nobody got time to be doing that. Natasha Denona and her team did a wonderful job putting these colors together for us so that when we wanted to use that palette and take it on a trip, we just needed the one palette. But here's the kicker. Where are we going? We're not going nowhere right now. What? I'm not for sure. That little thing is still happening in the world, you know, that's still going on. So most of us, uh, we got all the time in the world to go through our palettes, swatch away. And that's what I did. So let's get to looking through these palettes and see what I found. What I tried to do was find between three to four options for a color in the palette. In case you didn't have that specific palette that I wanted to reference, I gave you some options. I don't know if you can see this. This is my cheat sheet. Now I'm going to be honest, uh, a lot of these colors aren't exact dupes for each other. So, like I said, <laughs> these are potential dupes for what's in the palette, giving you an option of what you can do to recreate a bronzed look based upon Natasha Denona. There's drugstore, I don't even know what you'd call it, drugstore to high end and everything in the middle, everything. And by drugstore, I mean ColourPop. I guess I could have pulled my Maybelline, but it, 15 was a lot and it was a lot going on and a lot happening. Where's my water? I'm thirsty. I was about to tell y'all to get a drink and I'm thirsty. So starting out with True Copper. This is a warm copper shade and it kind of looks like a orange warm copper. I've got four choices for you. Just looking for my makeup wipes. And I'll slide over so we can get this watching. So the first option, if you have Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, Yes, Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, the color Your Majis Majesty. I always want to say that word wrong. So that color there. So that's that color. And then in the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, that color here is Penny. Do that again because of that. So there's Penny. There is Your Majesty. Next is Juvia's Place from the Warrior palette in the color Idia. So there's Idia. And last but not least, if you have the ColourPop Perfection palette by Shayla, the color Diva. This is getting difficult and tricky. So there is Diva. 
Colored Rain from the Queen of Hearts palette, Your Majesty. Natasha Denona Metropolis palette in the color Penny. Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette in the color Idia. And then ColourPop Perfection palette with Makeup by Shayla in the color Diva. And I'm going to be covered in shadows by the end of this. I'm just hoping it doesn't take me an hour to record this video. Then there is Suntan, a warm medium brown. So it's a warm tone medium brown. I have four options for you. None of, well, one of them come from a palette I just showed you. So first option for Suntan, Juvia's Place Kano. Kind of botch that swatch, but there's Kano. Next, from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, the color Pukey, which is this color here. So Kano is slightly warmer than Pukey, but they are very similar. Then coming from the ABH palette with Jaclyn Hill, no. Coming from the ABH palette with Jackie Ina is Ginger, right here. So that one is slightly warmer. And the Jackie Ina shade Ginger is a great option for women that are deeper skin than I am. I am trying not to break some things or make a mess. Next from the Urban Decay on the, oh no, Urban Decay Born to Run palette is Riff, which is this color here. Last but not least, by any means, especially the price tag, is from Pat McGrath's Bronze Seduction palette. There's actually a few that I'm gonna get out of here is the shade Entrapment. So again, you can see that both the Jackie Ina and Pat McGrath shades that I selected are deeper in tone for women who are darker than I am. Because everybody wants a bronze look, why not help everybody out? Not just me, that's selfish. The next color is Sundown, is a medium light yellow brown. So this is like a warm nude color. And Sundown gave me a little bit of trouble because I only found three potential dupes. So first up is from Natasha Denona Metropolis in the shade Riz Tone. Oh, Rhizome. I done changed the whole damn name, Rhizome. So Sundown is similar, I'm saying, to this color. Good luck seeing a lot of these on me because it's pretty much my skin tone. <laughs> Next is from the Uh Huh Honey ColourPop palette. We've got Totally Buggin'. And then back into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette with the shade Creamsicle. Oh, I never showed you the shade. So that's Creamsicle. So that's actually three different shades for three different tones of the color similar to Sundown. And it was at this point I thought maybe I should get the dang palette. Again, trying to help everybody out here and keep pushing. Deep Dive, which I think everyone was going crazy over, like crazy, is a deep brownish eggplant color. Three shades, starting with the ColourPop Perfection palette in the color shade here. Now this particular color does have a shimmer in it, but I still think it's a good fit. And then from Jackie Ina's palette, the shade 
credit. Very similar. I think Jackie's color comes off a little bit cool tone on me, but it might just be because it has a neutral base to it. And then going back into Pat McGrath's Bronze Seduction. I told you there was gonna be three colors. This is Extreme Aubergine. Aubergine, darling. So those are the three colors. Now, for some odd, strange reason, I convinced myself that Dethrone in the Queen of Hearts palette could fit in this group. That is Dethrone from Queen of Hearts. If you wanted something that wasn't so matte, the Dethrone is what I have in the outer corner of my eyes today in this look. So that's deep dive. Next is rhodium. Rhodium, I know people were going crazy over. And that's a purple charcoal gray. Natasha has it listed as a medium warm purple with silver reflect. It's real fancy for a purple charcoal gray, promise you. So rhodium is that purple gray-ish witchuation type of, I love the fact that I use witchuation because from the ABH Jackie Ina palette, the color lituation seems to be a good dupe for that color. The other two places that I would create the color is in the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay and Makeup by Shayla by mixing two colors. So let's first start off with Lituation from ABH. That is this color here. Now in the ColourPop and Perfection Perception palette. I hope I've been saying perception, not perfection. But in the Perception palette, I would mix Titus and September. I can see here, Titus with, and I'm literally just mixing them. Now the next combo is Drift and Guilt Trip, which are these two shades. Look familiar? Same kind of concept. So Lituation, that is Titus in September, and then Drift and Guilt Trip. So far, this Perception palette from Makeup by Shayla is showing up lots of places. So if you have this palette, you've got a lot of the shades covered. I'm just saying. Magma is described as a medium dark umber. What color is umber? So for all of us who didn't know, umber is a natural reddish brown. Umber is darker than sienna and ochre. Google is helpful. So now I'm gonna be questioning some of my selections. So we're gonna come back into this palette. I told you, it is making appearance everywhere. This is the shade Revenge. So this is Roxanne in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Very similar shades. Too Faced Gingerbread Man Extra Spicy. The Ginger Glam. Gingerbread Glam. How about we say the whole name? So that one is a little less red, but either one of those colors will work depending on your undertone. So start out with Color Pop Revenge by Makeup by Shayla. Then we have the Morphe, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Roxanne. Then we have over here, this is Too Faced 
Gingerbread Man Extra Spicy in the shade Extra Spicy. And then same palette, but in the shade Gingerbread Glam. Lastly, Urban Decay Naked Heat in the color Heat Devil. I so hope you all appreciate this. Look at my arm. <laughs> Not even halfway through yet. <laughs> So now we're at high degree. First up is the ABH and Jackie Ina color in Wigglease. You were not able to see the actual gold reflex in there. And then the Metropolis palette, this shade here called Claret. These colors are almost identical, followed by the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill color in Firework. And Firework is a little bit more orange than the other two, which leads me to believe that that's probably closest or the combination of those would be the closest to the Natasha Denona, seeing as how this is a bronze palette. So I'm thinking it would be filled with a lot of copper tones. And then last but not least, from the Naked Heat palette, let's point it out here, Scorched. Which is what I envision if you mixed one of these and that one together. Alloy is listed as a orange gold. Natasha has it listed as a bronze with gold reflex. Wouldn't most bronzes have gold reflexes for it to give that ultimate shine? I'm just asking, J literally just asking. Now, Alloy was a fun color to kind of figure out and find because I just imagined that I had a good copper color for Alloy. Hmm, wrong. So starting out with the ColourPop, uh-huh, honey. We're just gonna go right into it. It is that glittery shade in the middle, Kalooza. So seeing that is going to be a little challenging. I don't even know how to get you to see it. But that's it there. The way the light hits it could reflect off a yellow gold, copper gold, or just full out yellow. Let's see. And I'm sure no one wants to see my damn tits. Well, that's a minute I can't get back of my life. And down here, you can see the copper. I quit. <laughs> if you have this palette, swatch that center glitter shade and you'll see what I mean. Back into that bronze seduction palette in the color bronze blaze here and it's like my hand is so stained i can't even see colors popping up anymore that's it there oh yeah you can see it real good and then from the oh no gingerbread spice palette which one was it warm and toasty so that's warm and toasty there Again, just trying to give you a variation of what the potential color could be because we don't have anything to compare it to in real life. Now, let's see, uh, that's three. Oh, Urban Decay. I was like, I'm missing a color here for alloy. It is, that's a lot. No, that's it, yeah, mm-mm. Then there's Ridge, which is listed as a medium warm mustard, almost like a camel brown type of color. And from the, is this one in here? No. Naked Heat Born to Run palette. I'm just combining palettes here. The Naked Heat Urban Decay palette, low blow. So there's that. The Metropolis pure shade here. This is one of those cream to powder shades. I really like that color. The colored rain palette and I'm pretty sure you have colors that you like 
very similar to these in neutral browns. This is the Royal Prerogative. So if you do use that color, you don't have to stick to this. So that's Royal Prerogative. Last but not least is Buzzkill from the Uh Huh Honey here. All neutral shade browns for different skin tones. So there you go. And you're welcome. Next color is True Bronze. It's a foil bronze. And I'm pretty sure I thought I had some True Bronze colors until I swatched them. <laughs> so from the Soft Glam palette, what color is that? Hmm? Oh, of course, bronze. Now from the Gingerbread Man Extra Spicy, we have, where is she? Candy Queen here. So seeing these are really hard on my skin tone, but the shine effect is there. 1000%. And then last but not least, I was putting Zam. This is from Jackie Ina and the ADH collection. And that could actually fall under a different color in here that has a pink shift, but because it was leaning more bronze than pink, I put it with this group. So if you're keeping up, these two palettes could help you create a bronze look. Just saying. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette could help you create a bronze look. Depending on how detailed you want it to be, the Born to Run palette can get you a bronze look. So if you have at least two of those four that I mentioned, we don't need to go buy this Natasha Denona as badly as we want to. I'm just trying to help us save $65. So now Gloaming. Gloaming is a burnt umber with light bronze reflex. I got three options for us. So we're going to start off with Metropolis and the shade Crest. That's that shade here. Scorched. I'm like, did I use Scorched for something else already? I feel like I did. I bet I was supposed to do a Dirty Talk. So this one is Dirty Talk. So that's Dirty Talk by Naked Heat Urban Decay. And then Hillster from Jaclyn Hill. These swatches are getting worse and worse by the second. Okay, four more colors. Palladium is a dirty bronze color, kind of a pinkish taupe. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious. Hmm. So this is the color Meeks. These are, ooh. these are all like a dirty bronze shades. It's bronze, but it's Got a little something, some extra, you know. Then this is from Juvia's Place, the Warrior Palette in the shade Benin. And then for the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette, the shade Smog. The shade Sultry. It's a different variation on a dirty bronze. So we have Meeks from Jaclyn Hill, Morphe, Juvia's Place, Warrior Palette, and Venom, Urban Decay, Born to Run in the shade Smog, and then from the Soft Glam Palette from ADH, the color Sultry. Let me grab some more wipes. And then Bliss is a red pink with golden reflex. So it's like a pink, a real deep pink, reddish pink with golden reflex in it. Okay, the color Bliss. I've got three options. 
Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2, the color Bronze Rose, which I believe is this color here. So there's Bronze Rose. This has a slight pink shift on me. I pull a lot of warmth. I just do. Next option is from Jaclyn Hill, the color Sissy, which is this color here. Very pink. So you see the difference between the two. This is very pink with a slight gold shift. And it's like, that's where the bronze is. And then last but not least in the Lorac Gold Unzipped Palette. When was the last time you saw someone pull this thing out? The shade Unpredictable here. You can tell I'm tired because these swatches are getting crazier and crazier. So more bronze, more pink, more gold. But they all have a pink je ne sais quoi about themselves. Onto the color Silk. Silk is described as a foiled rich champagne. Okay, for Silk, going back into this Alorac Gold Unzipped Palette, or Unzipped Gold Palette, reaching into the color Unlimited. If you can see, that is Unlimited and then into the Soft Glam palette. Let's make sure I'm grabbing the right one. This color here is glistening. These are all like champagne type colors. Now glistening is a little bit more of a rose kind of champagne, but who am I to judge? Champagne is champagne. And then last but not least, for Silk is the shade Dandy, which is this bold, bright shade here. So there's Dandy. And our last color, Beach. Beach gave me a little bit of trouble because I wanted to continue to pick a color that reminds me of the beach, not necessarily of the color Beach in the bronze palette, Beach. A warm nude that simple so starting out with the color where is it starting with the Queen of Hearts palette from colored rain we're gonna go with princess that's princess so that is princess there this is one of those colors that shows up a lot richer with the brush than it does with the finger swatch so don't be fooled by that color and then from the Perception palette with the Makeup by Shayla in ColourPop, the color Culture, and all of these on me is going to look almost neutral, nude. So this one's a little bit warmer. Next up is Sauced by Naked Heat, Urban Decay. And then last, Definitely not least, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which probably had more shades than any other palette I came up with for the bronzed dupe collection is Petite. I think is how you say this, but if I got it wrong, I'm probably sure. Where'd I get Petite from when the color's pooter? It is time for me to go to sleep. That's what that is. So turn this around here. This color here is Pooter Poteet. What, what the heck would she know about a Poteet? What, where was I going with that? And you can't, I can't even see the color on me. So that's it there. There you have it, all 15 shades. I feel like I should have a shade for every color, or no, a palette for every shade. I will leave the names shade colors for each of the possible dupes that I've swatched in this video below. If you like this eye look, I will leave 
the exact colors I used on my eye. I think it was like four colors, probably more, but I think it was four. It was five. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave those down listed down below that I used um, on my lips. I don't even remember, but it's a Too Faced gloss. That's a bronzy color. I'll leave that down below as well. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you feel so inclined. There is no pressure. None. But I would like to pressure you to subscribe. Just a little bit. Just a little. Hit the. Just. Yeah. Tap that. Thank you again. Don't forget to come back and see my world.